Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let me get this because I'll have to edit it anyway. So, we're 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 looking at a game right now called Obsidio. I'm just making a quick video on this because I thought it was kind of funny. So, Obsidio was a not really promising but interesting uh, one of the Phasmo knockoffs back when Phasmo was extremely popular. And its whole gimmick was it had an exorcism phase and like you could ID the ghost type with the evidence, but you needed to, no, no, no. You ID'd what you needed for the exorcism with evidence, but to ID the ghost type, you had to play detective and you had to pay attention to the 900 interactions that the ghost could do. It was crazy. It was kind of fun for about three hours and then you kind of got used to the game loop and then it just got extremely boring because nothing else would happen. There was no real anything interesting to it. Like, at least in Phasmo, some crazy shit can happen. But even Phasmo gets boring after a few runs. Anyway, the game was abandoned September 8th, 2022, with this fixed exorcisms patch. That was the last update for a while. Until July 19th of this year. We got popped into the Unreal Engine 5. We got some achievements, Ghost Eliminator, Dynamic Weather, Mission Report. You can hold an extra item and there's a new ghost. Uh, item placement changes got fixed. Ghost elimination search bar fixes current future plans. They shift to 5.3, more ghosts, full control support, and even mod support. As of September 4th, with the latest update, mod support. That's fucking insane. To have mod support for a game that's in pre-pre-pre-alpha. But anyway, so if we go to the store page, it's going to be spoiled when you see my review. Oh, you can't see my review. Thank God. Cool. So it's not going to spoil. So I reviewed it today. Because I wanted to give, I wanted to, I haven't played it since 2022, so I wanted to give it a couple runs. Um, it's twelve dollars. This is a twelve dollar game. Keep that in mind. So I'm gonna switch over to game view and then click into the game. So here we are. All my progress got reset with no notice. So you have these shitty avatar images that are just. These are fucking awful. Like, and then some avatar borders that are just. Colors, player stats, world's loudest fucking game, hold on. Anyway, so yeah, so you get this dog shit menu, I'm not clicking the modding tab. Settings, customized character, yeah, you need to level up for all this, whatever. So, let's do the tutorial. Let's do the, obviously you want to run the tutorial in any new game you get, or any game that you haven't been in in a while, just to refresh yourself. So, first of all, we look like fucking shit. Like, it's kind of weird. It's a little jank. Unlike Phasma, you can at least go up here. Wait, why am I getting Ghost Room? I didn't even... Okay, that's funny. Uh, you're supposed to pick up this EMF as your first step. But it decided to skip it for some reason, I guess because I walked outside. Anyway, so. We're going to open the door now. Turn this light on. Turn this light on. Uh-huh. You guys are seeing this, right? This random, like, four light fixtures sitting in the middle of the room. Let's, let's turn this hall light off, actually. Yeah, this is good. So we have, like, a kid's bedroom lamp. What appears to be some kind of like, like hanging wall lamp, or maybe a candle, uh, a, a long, a long fluorescent like light bulb, and then a tall like standing lamp. So, we're gonna go to the ghost room now. We have EMF five. Okay, so we drop that. Let's mark it in our book. We're making some progress. That's cool. Mind you, this tutorial doesn't tell you any of the buttons, so you have to just fuck around until you figure out what buttons do. So let's go collect the candle. Now you may notice there's two candles. There's a white candle and a red candle. I would say, because it's not telling me any kind of special candle, maybe it's the regular one. Nope, I guess I was wrong. Let's collect the red candle. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's another fucking candle in here. Is this a candle? What is this? That is a fucking rock. 
that's a really flat rock. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe this is a candle. Maybe I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a candle? No, it's like a fucking Wi-Fi router. I don't know what that is. Okay. Off to a rough start. We can't, uh... Yeah. Who knows? Weird. It's not working. Whatever. We'll just go on with the candles anyway. It'll probably be fine. We know where the ghost room is. It's right here. Now, if you notice, the lights went out. The breaker's off. If you played Phasmo, you'll know that you'll want to turn the breaker on, unless it's like a specific ghost type. But for the most time, for the most part, oh my fucking god! Automatic hiding. That's awful. Okay. Let's go look for the breaker. Also, don't you like how the double doors always open in reverse order like that? There's no way to not do that. It's just... I've tried every combination of fucking angle and pressing. It's just... It always does that. Anyway. So, no no breaker there. You mean here? No, it's a bathroom. Weird. There's a shower. There's the void. It still wants me to collect a candle, by the way. Which I collected two of and dropped in the room. Is there coffee in there? No, but that needs to be clean. That's a dirty ass. Holy shit, I didn't even see this last time. What is... Oh my god, I'm trying to demonstrate how broken the game is and it's just breaking further. Maybe this candle? Nope, can't collect those. Yeah, so... As you can see, the tutorial's broken. There's no breaker, so once the lights go out, they're just fucking gone. Just bye bye. No more, no more fucking can or uh, lights for you. Yeah. So okay, the tutorial's broken. Who cares? It's probably a friendly ghost that you can ID to learn how the equipment works. We can learn in a live game. So let's just try picking everything else up, just for shits and grins. It's the fuck was that? Is doing some fuck shit. Did it turn the breaker back on? Wow, what a nice ghost. Let's try collecting everything in the van. Actually, yeah, let's let's collect all the, like, evidence stuff. Here, we'll get a spirit box. That I can't turn on. Are you here? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Nope, spirit box don't work. music box don't work maybe the dots projector will work which this game was like we're not ripping off phasmo and then they add a fucking dots projector only after phasmo does it shut up okay yeah so no the tutorial's not working half the items aren't working i can't get collect the candle to move on so that's not good that's weird Grab some more shit. No, no, no. It's not it. Not any of those. Which, by the way, there's supposed to be a Bible here to start the... Oh, wait. There it is. I was say, there's supposed to be a Bible to start the fucking, like, thing, but I don't even see that anymore. Oh! He's hunting in the tutorial? What? Whoa! What's going on? My heart rate's not even that... What is going on, dude? I'm over here! Come to the front door! Can you kill me? Wait, can I die to the ghost of the tutorial? That'd be so funny. Get me in there, chief. Hang on. Let's take the Bible in there. Would you like to hear about the Word of God? Do you want to hear about Jesus?
just... You know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. Come kill me. The fucking A posing screen, God! Alright, shit, I'm sorry. My whole guide, my whole like walkthrough I was gonna do got interrupted because I just realized I could die in the tutorial. Okay. So the tutorial didn't work. We didn't learn how to play the game at all. So let's just make our own game. Let's call it beep 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 boop boop. And I don't want any people joining in, so we're gonna do a private session. Huh, that was weird. Let's try that again. Maybe, maybe do it on land so it doesn't have to connect to anything. Hello. Huh, that's weird. Maybe search lobbies? No servers found! No servers found! Maybe there's someone nearby. Yeah, it's not gonna find anyone because no one plays this game. Anyway. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. How about that? Let's do, let's do an online public session. Nope! That's the part I wanted to get to. So the tutorial doesn't work, and you can't even play the game because it doesn't work. Let's try maybe a password. Let's do let's do we we b b, and the game doesn't work. Twelve dollars for a game that you can't even play. It's one thing to do the usual pump and dump that a lot of Steam developers do, where they release a game that has an interesting concept or a game of a popular trend, and you update it periodically for about half a year to a year, six to 12 months. You just kind of give updates. You give the illusion that you're actually going to make the game. But it's, it's all like free Unity assets, and it's janky code, and it just barely works. But you get just enough of that fire rolling that it gets you a lot of money. And then once the sales slow down, you do like one, maybe two more updates, and then gone. Gone. Gone forever. You dump the name, you dump that project. And you make a new fucking developer name, and you make another pump and dump game, and you just do the same thing. Every fucking year, you do the same thing. This shit happens all the time. There's a million of these. It's one thing to be a pump and dumper on Steam. It's one thing to be that kind of asshole. Because maybe the game that you left behind is entertaining enough once in a while to just boot up and fuck around in for just a little bit of shits and grins and think about what could have been if you weren't a piece of shit. That's one thing. That's fine. All right, there needs to be garbage so that the real gems can shine. It's another thing to come back to the game you abandoned and update it, giving people hope that it wasn't abandoned. You just maybe took a break, some, maybe college got too busy or something, right? And then fucking break the game and permanently break it. It's not just a me thing. I went, looked around, read shit. Yeah, it's fucking dead. No one can play this game. It's, dude, you should have just fucking left it dead. That's goddamn. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show today. I know I don't make content too often, but I this was so absurdly fucking funny to me. And honestly, I need to die to the tutorial again. That was the funniest part. I couldn't believe I could fucking die in the tutorial. Like, hello? I mean, and what is this? I'm sorry, I didn't fucking blow up enough about this the first time. What the fuck is this construct? God, this looks like some shit you'd see in... The fucking Kane Pixels back rooms, man. What is that? Can I turn on all the lights? Wait, what? What? You're fucking joking. They turn on... Oh my fucking god. So all the light fixtures for the house are in the center. They're all over here. Oh my god. Well, I gotta turn them all on now and create the sun while I wait for the evil demon guy to kill me. Wait, no, I can just throw the Bible any time and he'll fucking attack me. We'll get that nine and a half hour cutscene. Oh, God, I'm lagging. Yeah, let's do that. 
Where's the Bible? Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Can you just leave in the middle of this happening? Oh my god. It's lagging my game to process that. Yeah, that's just some fucking generic model that they bought. I could just walk out! Dude! <laughs> Bro, you can just leave! What's the danger? Oh god, and now we got the repeating doors again. Oh, never mind, not for long. Oh my god. What ghost type is it? Yeah, look, one of these guys is called Bert. <sighs> so this is Obsidio. This is this is. You could not have a game more dead than this. This is truly something else. All right, that's all I can bitch about. Yeah, that's truly amazing. Oh, let me switch back to yeah let's switch back to this look at this mostly negative kyle's garage let's let's look at kyle's garage what he there it is the pump and dumper it just makes one game and then fucks off all right that's all i got for today all right all right see y'all